What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and it's time for some more Pokemon Showdown. Got this brand new team. I'm really feeling them at the moment. And especially for the fact that Haxorus has Mole Breaker and I got that Earthquake on there just to hit Rotom Washes really hard. There's a lot about this team that I like. There's of course a lot of flaws to come along with it, but I ain't too worried about that right now. I'm just trying to get to blows with the big names and the whole OU tier. Try to see exactly how this team stacks up. And I mean, a lot of you guys, you know, were, were clowning on me like, oh, this guy will never get back to, you know, the, the, the 1700 ranking. You know, I was at 1700 at one point and all that freaking testing. But you know what? It's all good. This game is for fun at the end of the day. I'm trying to have me a good time. I'm trying to use some fun Pokemon. And, and I think this team is really cool. You know, it seems effective, but it's fun at the same time. I'm playing with some old favorites, Blastoise in the building, Gyarados. So, you know, I can't even be mad. Now, I'm seeing this team, there's a lot of small Pokemon on this team, but even though they're small Pokemon for the most part, they all do damage. I mean, Togekiss, let's not even, let's not even go there. So, right now I'm seeing Klefki as a potential lead, but right now I think Darmanitan can pretty much provide a threat to anything here since he can't get burned with Will-O-Wisp, and um, yeah, you know what, Darmanitan seems pretty solid to me, so you know, let's just go for Darmanitan. I, I, I guess I, I guess it was, I guess it would be a good move to go for the um, Stealth Rocks early. But you know, I, I see the extra drill in there, and I kind of—I don't know. I mean, I kind of have this thing where I don't want to set up my rocks as soon as possible if I see that they have an extra drill. Although maybe I should, because then that'll probably pressure them into bringing extra drill in. And when he is in, I can somewhat take advantage of the opportunity and maybe make a hard switch into somebody that can scare his ass away. So you know, whatever. I'm just gonna go straight up for the flare blitz here. I'm gonna see who. No one wants to take this. No one at all wants to take it. Togekiss doesn't want that. I should be faster than this guy at this point, but you know, I have max speed after all. You know, Jolly Nature Darmanitan is the safest Darmanitan, so let's just go for, you know, let's go for one more Flay Blitz, just to, I don't want to risk missing a Rock Slide, no no thanks, I'm not about that life, so right, things worked out really well, Togekiss is down, that's actually a really big threat that's out of the way, so maybe Stealth Rocks don't have as much priority now. Oh, I, I should be faster than this guy too, you know, considering that he's a Balloon, he doesn't have a Scarf. I'm I'm max speed, jolly, you know, there's no way Excadrill was going to live that, so that's a dead Excadrill. Although I kind of feel like a little bit scared giving away Darmanitan, but I kind of just took out two of the biggest threats on his team. I mean, it, it works out for me. So now I'm seeing this Meowstic. I know they like to carry Thunder Wave, but you know what? I, I want to kind of threaten him out with Tyranitar. He's going to predict the pursuit, maybe, or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't think Tyranitar this benefits too much from being paralyzed, so... I'm a-okay -A -okay with this. Now I'm going to use this as a chance to set up my stealthies. Simply because, you know, now he doesn't have anything to get those away. So, might as well get those up as fast as possible. And now let's go for a Thunder Wave just to be able to... I don't know. I mean, Power Hacks never hurt anybody. So, this is fine with me. He's got his screens up. Which does bother me a bit. But, I don't know. I'm not too concerned with that. Now, Ice Punch. Let's go in there just to stop Whimsicott. Because I know it's going to come in. There we go. Alright, that did a relatively good amount. Man, Tyranitar is really strong, man. Considering that he gets the elemental punches too, some of you might be saying, why the fuck don't you carry Stone Edge and, you know, crunch on this guy? I don't know. I just kind of like to hit those Gliscors really hard when they stay in, because they can't kill me with one hit with an Earthquake, you know? And I don't know. I mean, I've been experimenting with Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch, and I've been switching out the options for each other, you know, depending on the situation, depending on how I feel, because, you know, Fire Punch is great for Scizors and Ferrothorns and whatnot, but then you kind of lack either Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. And Ice Punch can be extremely valuable in some situations. So I just figure, you know what, fuck it. Let me just roll around with the Bolt Beam. Bolt Beam, hey man, you know, Ice and ice and Thunder, that works together really well to hit a lot of stuff hard. But, all right, so now this guy's got his Leech Seed up. He's probably got leftovers too. No leftovers? Who moved it? What item does he have? I kind of just want to stall him out until his substance, I kind of want to stall the screens out, you know? I want those to go down and then he'd be taking a lot more damage from that Ice Punch. I'm kind of surprised that the Ice Punch is doing this much damage as it is, but I'm kind of used to my own, my own um, Whimsicott on my old team, which has max defense, so it eats those hits up with no problem. But okay, so now that Klefki is in there, hmm, I wish I had Earthquake, but you know, whatever, you can't have everything for everybody. I'm thinking about maybe just going into Gorgeist. I don't mind being paralyzed either, and I can go for a Will-O-Wisp to negate some of his, oh shit, Iron Defense, what the hell? Does Klefki get Baton Pass? Does he get Baton Pass? Well, I'm not too sure, but... Okay. Um, if he does, he is gonna Baton Pass his Leech Seed. But I don't think he gets Baton Pass, though. I, I, If Klefki got Baton Pass, you'd be seeing that 
on every baton pass team because of prankster so there's no way this son of a bitch <laughs> this son of a bitch okay then so wow we got us we got us some stall going on okay this isn't good you can pretty much paralyze everything oh but that I mean we do have roar so this is fine He's gonna paralyze Gyarados most likely, but it's it's okay. I mean, Gyarados isn't meant to be fast, at least mine anyway. So you know, it's a okay. He's got Iron Defense. He's got Call Mind. And what the fuck? He's got Substitute Iron Defense, Call Mind, and what else? He's definitely not Baton Pass. I know that for a fact. Well, you got Dazzling Gleam. All right, he's just gonna whatever. We roar him out. That is a okay. So now this guy's screens are gone, so I'm seeing this as a great chance for me to go for a waterfall. Just get some nice general damage off on the guy. Maybe we should go for a taunt, considering that he has so many prankster users on his team. And it just we considered the waterfall anyways. So let's go for another taunt. Let's go for a taunt here. Cause you know, when you taunt a prankster, that kind of screws up a lot their main core strategy. So yeah, this is probably the best option to go for. And Meowstic is done. Yeah, four pranks to use, man. Clef Key, Whimsicott, Meowstic, and Sableye. I, I actually used the Meowstic set a little while ago, you know? It's sort of interesting. I mean, it kind of doesn't really do the job the same way as Clef Key would, but it, you know, it's still an interesting set. I, I like it. Now, this guy's probably going to go for a Leech Seed. So let's go for my Gorgeist. Or maybe he can go for potentially a Leech Seed or a. Um, you can, you can potentially go for a Leech Seed or a, um, or Screens. He has a lot of options now, now that I think about it. Yeah, he has a lot of options. In fact, me predicting the Leech Seed is probably bad. Maybe I should go for a Taunt here. Yeah, maybe I should go for a Taunt. Nope, it doesn't. Consider that. Thank you, Showdown. But alright, at least I, my first prediction was correct with the Leech Seed thing. Mm -mm. I kind of want to go for a Shadow Sneak just to make sure that he doesn't have a chance to go for a Substitute. But if he goes for the Substitute, he's going to outspeed my Shadow Sneak anyway, so what does it really matter, you know? Let's go for a Willow Wisp. Yeah, there was no way that I was going to be able to um, stop him in that scenario, so it's fine. Anyways, let's just break his sub. He can't, he doesn't have any recovery in the form of life on um, Leftovers, so this is alright with me. You can just continuously hit his sub until it breaks, and then we can, um... There we go, his sub is broken. He doesn't have leftover, so, you know, we're fine right now. Or we can just go for a Will-O-Wisp, predicting a switch. Yeah, fuck it. Will-O-Wisp, just because, you know? And it misses, of course. Alright, now, last resort, let's just go for the Shadow Sneak. Thank you. Damn, man. I mean, I, I thought he would have switched out, but then again, the rocks are up, so he doesn't really have too many options in that regard. Oh, well. I love Gorgai still. For the Frisk ability, I, I, I love the Frisk ability because, you know, at least it gives me some retrospective as to what, well, not retrospect, but kind of like, um, it gives me insight into what the fuck a certain Pokemon is going to do. I love switching Gorgai in on Rotom. I love it. Send you in on Rotom. Tells me exactly what the fuck this thing has, so I know if Haxorus can outspeed it or not. Because sometimes it carries scarf, you know, it's crazy what these things can do. But, anyways, he's probably gonna go for a substitute. So, if that's the case, then I'll just go for Cuddle Annex. Okay, now we can start roaring shit out. Although, this guy does have recovery, so I don't like. He's gonna go for a recover. Let's just go for this roar. And now, I kind of want to go into Darmanitan, but I don't want to risk the paralysis. So, let's go for a waterfall. He's got Draining Kiss on his cleft here. While Draining Kiss is a really good move to recover HP, it's not so practical. I mean, I don't know. Unless you have boost. So that was his final move. He was going to call mine in my face, and then eventually get his Draining Kiss to a really strong amount of um, damage, and then he'll just get a ton of defense back. So, I see what Clefty wanted to do now. Alright, this Klefki is getting really fucking annoying now, so let's let's roar it out. Although I kinda wanna Thunder Wave it. I was predicting him to go for a um I was predicting him to go for I don't know, what was I? 
I don't know, this battle's kind of like dragging on now. My attention's not even fully on this shit anymore. Let's go for a taunt. That'll, that'll slow down Sableye at least. I don't know why this guy's continuing. I mean, I pretty much... I don't know. It doesn't really seem like he has much to kill me with. So... Hey. But now that he's taunted, we can go for maybe... Uh... Axorus, or maybe Darmanitan. I'm just scared about what this thing may have. So, you know, let's go into Gorgeist's father, because, you know, I, I hate giving up Gorgeist in this situation, but it's the best thing, because I don't know what this guy has. If he's going for Calm Minds, then he must have, he must have something different other than um, Nightshade. He has Struggle. Oh, wow, okay. He's pretty much fucked. So, this is a really good situation for us. Let's go for this Leech Seed, just to um, negate his recovery a bit. Or well, if he goes into his cleft key, I'm fine with that too. This dude's really trying to hold on here with this battle. Uh, he has boosting moves. Potentially he can get cleft key up to enough calm minds where he can kill us. Maybe. All right. All right. So now cleft key has calm mind, iron defense, draining kiss, and I think substitute. Right? I'm not exactly sure, but whatever. We're gonna try to get as much residual damage as possible on this thing. So we got the Will O Wisp and we got the Leech Seed going on. I'm I'm a okay with that. He forfeited. All right, great. With those two forms of damage on him, I knew there was no way that this guy was gonna be able to take those constant switches in back and forth. So the shit worked out really well for us. Thank goodness, because this battle was dragging on much longer than I think it should have. 33 turns. Come on, man. 